Hey guys and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. My name is Twitchy and we are playing the role of my boy Cow here. A Jedi Padawan who escaped the purge somehow during the times of Order 66. Uh, we've been escaping from the Empire for a little while now. We've actually made our way to Zepho following an old Jedi around who somehow is only contained inside this droid. If you've been watching, you'll know. Uh, and of course we went underneath and we found a Jedi... Uh, uh, sorry, a uh, Empire excavation site underneath, where it turns out Officer Crane was yeah, trying to, to collect a whole a bunch of relics and things like that. As I say, I have some secrets about all of that, though. But first, we need to try and save our friends. This ATST is going to be a mighty challenge, but I feel like we should be able to do well. I want to try and parry and block at the same time. I'm not sure how. Ooh. Oh, I pressed the wrong button and I found a leg. Um, let's push some explosives away from us here. Okay, that's pretty good, pretty good. Got to watch out for the missiles. I'm not sure what to do against missiles. I'm sure there is a function that I, as a Jedi, can perform there, but I'm not sure what it is. I really would like to keep my camera focused on it. Okay, let's get my block up. This is very important to be done. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, once again, in with the explosives. Okay, I like this. I like this. I'm not sure... Or oh, if we're doing as well as we could be, but I feel like we are doing quite well. The parry and the block working out quite well for us. Or oh, push them back at it. Yeah, that's big explosions there. Okay, I think we've settled into a nice little pattern and rhythm of how we're supposed to deal with this. This game, of course, all about patterns and rhythms. As you can see, I kind of upset mine a little bit there. Um, oh, whoa, 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 let's jump away from this. All right, cool. Uh, block it, block it, come on. We, we've got this. A little parry would be better than just the blocking, but yeah, that works out well for us. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do against the missiles. I'm going to go with, with uh, dodging out of the way. I'm sure there's better ways of doing it here. Oh, oh, oh. I'm out of... out of force powers. I'm not sure if I need to get in and push... Uh, get him and, uh, and hit him, sorry, to get them back. I'm uh, stuck on some stuff. I don't want to be stuck on things here. I could really do without that. He's just kind of ex dropped explosives at his own feet there. I, I couldn't take advantage of that, it turns out. Uh, how about this one, though? Yeah, there we go. That's some advantage taken care of. Awesome, awesome. I want like to get my camera back focused over there. Oh, that was a bad parry. That's a better parry. Uh, and then if we can push... Uh, oh, I missed, it turned out. And then there's the rockets. I don't know what to do about the rockets. Parry, parry, man, parry. This is working out pretty well. I kind of want to keep behind it. I've just noticed how bad of health I am. Okay, that's good. Uh, and then one of those. Nice, nice. Is he down? Is he down? He is indeed. Oh, intense battle, guys. Sorry that the, you know, the commentary is not quite as good. You're, you're not, are you? Seriously, man. Like, what is wrong with you? There was something to be, be, be read in our data bank over here. No, there wasn't. Okay. Did I need to scan? I'm sure that there was something being said in the data bank. Maybe it was in the uh, the tactical bit. Let's have a look over here. Uh, tactical guide? Yeah, tactical guide empire. ATST, susceptible to sabotage of its own grenades and missiles. Legs are vulnerable. I don't know how I was supposed to use the missiles. I, I, I did press the uh, the force power button there. Maybe we could have slowed the missiles down. Is slowing the word slowed the missiles down? Uh, all, the all-terrain scout transport, also known as the ATST, uh, also known as the Scout Walker, sorry, is a lightweight bipedal two person transport deployed for ground force support in the Galactic Empire. They're often used for swift reconnaissance and targeting smaller threats that evaded the larger AT-ATs. Equipped with chain mounted medium blaster cannons capable of firing at range of two clicks, as well as side cannons armed with rockets and concussion grenades, targeting enemy vehicles and ground troops at close range. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I think we need to go and make sure that our friends are fine, but of course, something else we need to do. I don't know if you guys are aware but there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that we haven't uh, gone and done there's green doors all over the place look out look how far away that green door is there's a bunch of red things over here can we get through the red things and of course over at the uh, do you remember the big crashed ship i was editing the video for that yesterday uh this is where we fought the the troll and then we climbed up the stuff and then went into the big old engine nacelle well there was something back here that we didn't go and have a look at because we died and i would like to go and check that out but first 
We need to go this way, and I need to share my secret with you guys. This this, this cow, this is not the cow that we originally uh, started with. I uh, I made a little mistake, and I ended up uh, recording a video, but didn't actually record the video. I've got the first 16 seconds of video, uh, and then we went to Kajik, and uh, all sorts of stuff happened. Uh, nice this happened. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Tell me that this visit wasn't for no, no, it wasn't for I nothing. The tomb of the Zepho Sage. They definitely used the force. Of course they did. Civilization of force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Yeah, man, what did you find? Here, the Zepho journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh, Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Kashyyyk, I look. Things are really bad down there. The the Empire's muscling in on those Wookies big time. Yeah, why did the Empire pick on the Wookiees so much? It's a, it's a question there. It's a question. Um, this lifestyle suits you. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. I'm doing pretty well. You, more confident. you know, so, I'm a, a young lad. You, just come out of a big you know, fight. Done a good exploration. Yes, with the force. And oh, my force is going good, you, good, you know? Overwhelming. Haven't gotten myself killed yet. Rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. Do you, though? More than you realize. Uh, fill me in. Why'd you choose to stop using the force? Chose. Did you choose? When the started, and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. That's very noble. I'm down. It didn't last long. Oh. What happened to the, the younglings? I was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan, Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings. Did it go well? They caught me. And they tortured me. Did you tell them where they were? They wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova. So it's all about Cordova. It was a prison riot. Riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. I wonder why the Empire wants Cordova so bad. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? She survived? Oh, I bet I know. Yeah. I'm going to leave that just sat there. I've got some ideas of what might have happened to her Padawan, given the people we've met previously. We can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. Okay. I'm down. That's a good idea. Do you... <clears throat> to, to drop a clanger... Do you think she's dead from a certain point of view? I could I could definitely uh, be down with that. Siri shares an unawful memory about her past. During the Jedi Purge, she was captured and tortured by the Empire. She was able to escape, but her Padawan was not so lucky. Years later, that event has left her scarred and reluctant to use the Force. Oh, I mean, like, fair enough. I, I mean, if, you, if, you, if you've taken on, like, the life of a youngling, I mean, that's pretty much what Padawans do, right? Uh, or masters do for Padawans. And then you watch them die inverted commas yeah I mean what is this over here what's this thing what you've never seen a terrarium I mean we've already actually technically done this bit so yeah um, because, because of that I ended up uh, because we I did a recording that didn't get recorded uh, I've ended up having to replay the game again uh, which you know is just amazing let me tell you I've done a lot of things a lot better this time around I've tried to not go into anything that I hadn't already found uh, there, that means there's a few things that we we need to go and get um, Bam, 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 bam. There, there's a few things that I noticed also whilst editing. So before we go to Kajit, I'm going to go out of here and we're going to go have a look at some places. The first thing I want to do, of course, is get to that village because there's a lot of stuff going on in the village. I don't know if you guys are aware. Probably not. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to go through and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so having barely moved from the ship, we're at this area of the village. I hope you recognize it. It's the one with this little bridge over here. I wanted to kind of walk up and do one of those. 
Oh, is, is just the one? Two? Come on, we can, we can do this. Is that it? Is that it? We're only getting that much uh, push through. That's cool. Over here, we've got a little thing that's got a scump link on it. And it's saying, hey, do you want to slice this? And I'm like, yeah, I want to slice this. Thank you very much. I've just noticed that Stormtrooper over there. Let's go and uh, take him down. One other thing about going through the game and having played it all over again. Uh, I found little little powers that I didn't know I have. Uh, like, if I press and hold the Y, I do this little... Little, little jump attack. I didn't know I had that, but I've had it the entire game. You literally need to uh, to take it to start using the powers. And yeah, I feel a lot more confident in the combat nowadays. So having come through this area previously, we're over... I'm not sure how to, uh, to show you guys where we're at. Oh, looky, look, this is different here. Okay. Uh, so this little area here, let's go and have a look. Well, this is the point of the turbines. Do you remember? Like, like that stuff is pumping over there, and then we got these ones that I had to slow down to jump past. Of course, I've not come through there. I have come through this shortcut, and I uh, knew that there were going to be different things. I didn't realize this was going to be different, though. Let's give it a... Go. All right, maybe that's not where I'm supposed to go. I kind of thought, felt like that was going to be it. Let's go. Try, let's try going around the other way instead and see if there's something to be done there. Because whenever there's new wind, it's something to be checked out, right? Something to be checked out, indeed. There's even more stuff. Uh, oh, 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 oh! I missed. I missed the jump that I was supposed to be going for. Okay, well, let's go over this way because I want to talk about the stuff over here as well. Do you guys see that uh, blowing air? That's what I'm actually coming for. This is the thing that I'm actually like. Like, hey, because up there is something that I noticed when we first arrived. Doesn't look like that's the way to be doing it. Maybe what we want to do is come in from the other side and try that. But before we do that, I'm going to try one more time just running and jumping. Yeah! Go, cow, go! Oh, I must have pressed the wrong button. Okay, to totally first try, like, second, third, third, third try. Anyway, well, totally made it over there. I now want to know what's over here. I want to get up as high as we can. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Do I, do I see anything going on? We were in a nice little uh, secluded area. It looks like we get to go back over that way. I, I do see this, though. Like, what's, what's going on up here? Oh, we've got a nice little force echo. Oh well, that that's just sad. This the uh, the villager hideout, a common uh, a com used by a mother to contact someone close to her. She couldn't wait for them any longer, but so the decision was painful. Oh, that 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 kind of sucks. That was that all ten Zepho villager markers there. So that is something that has happened. I have picked up a couple of extra markers that I uh, I thought I had, and then then stuff happened. In fact, I think I've got almost all of those. Uh, there were a few uh, secret finds that I didn't realise, uh, such as the uh, black paint job for the mantis. I kind of want to get over there so I can wander about back that way. I'm not sure if that's going to work out for me though. Let's turn around and find out. Ah, big jumps! Yeah, Jedi jumps are good. All right, enemy below. Oh, no, no, you're the guy with the rocket launcher. Though I have recently found out that what you can do with these. I don't know if this is going to work for me, but we will try. Or, or not. Maybe he's not interested in me. Let, let's get a little closer. Let's get a little closer. Let's see what he does here. Uh, hi, mate. How are you doing? I want to know what happens when I push your rocket. Let's see if we can do it. It fires. Ah, oh, it takes him... Ah, oh, it takes Cow a while to power up. Let's try that again. As soon as the glint happens, we'll try it. Glint, go. Yeah. All right, that didn't quite work out amazingly well. I was hoping that it would, like, knock back at him, but it was good enough. Okay, here's that... Here's that bit we were looking at earlier, look. The, uh, the, the blowy, blowy air over this side. If I jump like that and then click to grab... Okay, that takes me back here. Uh, I'm not overly sure that that's where I want it to be. Okay, so that's one secret place down. Two secret places down, technically. Oh, I've really got to stop hammering the jump button while I'm trying to grab for something. It's uh, it's not doing me any favours at all. So that's that secret down, this secret down. There should be more stuff to look at. Of course, we're going to have to have a little bit of a fight here. Um, I, I guess I'm okay with that. I'd rather the, uh, the wildlife wasn't the things that I was fighting. I'm much happier taking down Empire troops that have decided that they want to fight. Though, uh, you know... 
if the latest Star Wars movies have taught us anything is that not everyone who works for the Empire is happy about it hey man how you doing I'd really like to give you one of those thanks I was particularly waiting for that to come in thanks alright let's see if we can get this guy on a parry come on bam nice and then we just slice him up a little bit looks like not but we'll uh, we'll trade blows with him Quick, help. Yeah, let's have a little stim. I just realised it was flashing down in the corner there. Uh, that was a block rather than a parry, but wore him down enough to uh, to take him out. Nice. Now, the reason that we're here is because somewhere over here we have a scomp link that we can go inside, and I'm not sure what's in here. Let's go and have a look. It is a crate for us to have a look at. Beautiful, beautiful. What do we got? Anything else in the room around us whilst that is going down? No, turns out not. So, what did you get? Cheat and Resolve 2. I think that was actually something we'd already had in the past. Ah. Okay, another box that we saw in the edit, and it was quite painful walking past this the second time and not opening it, but I knew that we needed to come back and look for it. Beautiful, in there is what we're after. What what do we have? Elemental Nature 2. Who knows what that is? Right, next thing I want to get down there. I'm not sure if this is safe, though. Let's try it. Let's try it. This is uh, just another route down, right? Bam. Okay, that's beautiful. I would have come up there naturally, but here we go. We are in our uh, little base here. We are going back to the down ship now i don't think there's anything else that we need to get uh, other than access to that ship and i'm just gonna fighting these stormtroopers with the parry is by far my favorite method it also means that i don't end up killing the astromech droid by accident uh, which is you know pretty nice lots of red all around this base i'm not sure how we're supposed to actually get down this way but uh i, I will find my route hi guys how's it going all right so through here, nice and easy, but through this door, there's going to be a fight that might actually be a little bit awkward. That guy down there, uh, yeah, he can be awkward. We'll find out. We'll see what's going on. Uh, I want to do my little dash attack that. What's going on with my frame rate? That's terrible, but thankfully gave us a situation that we didn't. Now, when I played through this time, he actually fell off the side, so I didn't get to scan him, but I, uh, it's kind of good that I'm coming back this way, right? Just want to give you guys this establishing shot again so you know where we are let's have a look that's where we are we're gonna go into one of these engines okay so we're supposed to be going up there but i'm gonna have a bit of a look around this way for dude dude don't don't do it man like seriously i ah oh, this is this is this is not what i wanted even slightly okay right so you get involved with that that's fine and maybe we can take him out whilst they're doing that. Oh, oh, not at that rate. We can't get out the way, cow. All right, so we've taken him down. That was actually pretty smooth, but man, I could do with uh, some stims. All right, cool. And now let's get our block on because these guys, uh, they're pretty bad with the swarm sometimes. If, if they get their swarm going, then you can be in a little bit of trouble. Ooh, now would you believe all of this was so I could come around here and go, Hey guys, did you see what I discovered earlier on? Isn't it beautiful? Let's scan him. Alright, Dream Warp. Beautiful, nice and lovely. Dream Warp reminds you of Gre uh, Grease's fur. Alright, so this is the weird bit where I couldn't find any way up onto that, despite the fact that it really looks like there should be a way in through over all that lot. But no, no, we're, we're kind of stuck here like this. That's fine. We need to make our way down and across all this way and into the back of that engine. Oh, I pressed the wrong button there. For some reason, I keep pressing the trigger rather than the bumper. Uh, but, that you know, no problems, no problems. Uh, now that he's doing this and started flying towards me, I'm not sure what I can do to actually uh, stop him blowing up in my face like that because that is what what um, what failed us last time because there's a few bun a few more of them in here that we got to worry about. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to do. He's just flying at me. Okay, some some big lightsaber action there. That worked out pretty well. I was a little bit worried that we were going to end up getting blown up, but it turns out if you are quick enough, then it's all good. Uh, I'm not sure if we can take these down without them noticing us. Uh, no, is the, is the quick and easy answer there. No. Uh, can you... Thanks. That That's pretty good. And then you as well. Okay, let's let him blow up. Get out of here. Be gone with ye. Okay, good, good, good. And then we do one of those, and I mean, I, I suppose I could get in there and try and chop him up nice and fast, but I've got a feeling just avoidance is the best 
best option here okay awesome look at that all right so we got a box up the top there that we want to go and have a look at the reason that we want to have a look at that is if i am not mistaken that is a sim a stim canister but how do you get up there i don't know but the reason that i'm really here is i want to know what this is about what is it what is it maximum life increase Oh, squad's on red alert. Oh, 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 lightsaber. There was a Jedi here. There was a Jedi. Wow, okay, survivor. Let's have a look at this. Uh, Ventor Wreck. A, a dead clone, but he wasn't killed by the crash. He appears to have been killed by a lightsaber. Ooh, but still, I want to get up there. How do we get up there? Look, look at this. BD1's like, no, you should come over this way. And I kind of agree. Doesn't look like this is going to be the easy way up there. I, is that a wall run? Is that a wall run there? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I don't know. I don't know. I, I definitely want to give it a go of somehow, though. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think that's a wall run. I think that's just mud and schlop. Okay, let's see what we can do about this. BD's like, hey, over here, you should do this thing. And I'm like, okay, let's do this thing. What have we got inside of it? Show me, needs please. Power. Needs power? How would we get power to it? Well, obviously, the game says not now. All right, fair enough. I am glad that we came and got that force thing, though. Uh, I mean, is that is that a wall ride? That's not a wall ride, not even close. It looks like down there would be a hole. Oh, um, okay. It's not it's not a live place. That I, I didn't actually mean to fall off, but we have learned something there. Well, I guess that is all we've got looking for here. Far as I can tell now, the only other place I want to check out is all the way back at the temple. Oh, wow. So something else that we should talk about is the fact that I have more skill points than I did last time. Obviously, uh, being better at the game, I seem to have come through with uh, with more skill points. I didn't die as often, didn't lose stuff, so that that's pretty good. The, my Ogdo Bogdo fight was done in, like, 12 goes rather than, you know, most of an evening. So that was pretty good. Uh, looking around, I'm not sure what skills I want to take. The Agile Deflection also d automatically deflects blaster bolts whilst he is sprinting or wall running. Sounds like something that is just going to be handy to have. So I'm going to learn that one. That just means anytime I'm sprinting, look, well, look at that. Bam, 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 bam. He just like waves his lightsaber around like a maniac. Ah, it's great. It's great. Uh, maximum life increase. I mean, that sounds great. It does sound great. Uh, two skill points for the leaping uh, slash can perform a, a, another powerful overhand attack. Mm, it seems... Two buttons, though. Two buttons, you know. Uh, increasing the distance that I can dash is a good idea because quite often I start dashing and then I end up, like, falling very short. Uh, wow, that is a distance. I hope that's the distance that I'm allowed to dash. That will be cool. And then maybe one over here. Uh, maximum force. All right, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's do it. Bam. No, no nice little graphic for that, but we got this. All right, cool. So last time we were here, there was a great big storm raging all around this, and we weren't, weren't able to get in without using some serious force powers. And now I'm like, hey, how do we how do we get down there? I'm I'm not sure if we're actually able to. Alright, well, there's some wind going up here, so let's give it a go. Okay, that worked out for us. Don't overrun it. Beautiful, beautiful. N now can we do... Oh, oh, BD1's like, hey, looking at this. Is this something to scan, or are you just looking? You're just looking. Alright, let's 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 stand on it and see what happens. Are we going up or down? We are going down. Alright, see, see you down there, guys. Wow, this one's sneaky. So I came running down here. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. So I came running down here, and I was like, oh, wait, the door wants us to be over the... What? What do you mean? I came down, and I just couldn't see what was going on. But once again, I just... I've missed this tiny little crack to try and squeeze through here. Oh, yeah, okay, brilliant, brilliant. Also, now where are we going? Hey! Hey, it's you. You all right down there, buddy? I don't. I don't really want to start a fight. If 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 we could avoid that, that would be great. But I'm guessing. Oh no, I'm guessing that's actually where the fight is. I might have to get down there, give him a bit of a kicking before we can do what I need to do. Yeah. All right. Let's actually just try this first. I'm gonna come down here. We're gonna do this. Bam. No. All right. It didn't. 
something like that. Maybe maybe we do have to kill that guy. I, I don't want to, but maybe we do. Whoa! Hey, easy there, buddy. That's not the, not the level of combat I'm after. Already in with the big hits, though. You see that? Bam. Okay, I can't knock that out. Did I knock that out? I did knock that out. Oh, beautiful. Wow, that was a really quick fight. Okay, so, so so now what do I do to make this work? Uh, first thing I would... Are you, are you threatening me? I'm going to put a slash in that and then run away. Okay, that's cool. Now, how do we open this? What's what's the deal here? What's... How? Oh, 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 oh. I was just knocking about... Oh, man. Okay, that was cool. So it turns out you can push those like that. Bam, and it blew the door open. Wow, that's crazy. I was starting to come up with plans being like, oh, well, it kind of looks like the door back at the puzzle. Maybe we can go and pull some of the puzzle stuff around. Oh, let's, let, let's sense this echo instead of coming up with stupid plans, though. What have we got here? What is down for us? Maximum force increase. Artifact as an offering to the wind. It was destroyed intentionally for some reason. It was destroyed intentionally for some reason. Wow, we will have to read into that. Let's get up here and let's do this. Remains of an ancient artifact constructed as an offering to the wind, but destroyed intentionally for some reason. Thank you. That was so much more insight there. Uh, is this all of the Zepho cultures? This is it. We're still missing uh, two Zepho cultures, but I don't think they're actually down here. One thing I haven't figured out, and I kind of would like to know... Is this actually him? Is this actually the ancient sage led here, being kept in stasis by this sarcophagus? I mean, I could imagine it. I could, I could see that being a thing. Okay, trying something that I thought needed to be tried. I was fairly certain, yes, that there was a secret in here. So what I did was rolled the ball out. I was actually playing with this ball up here, trying to figure out how to get up here. Uh, and then I accidentally knocked it with my push. And it was kind of half rolled out and rolled back in. I was like, great. So I pushed the bottom ball out up against a, 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 a lip. And then we rolled back against this. And oh, it was, it was good. It was good. But anyway, we got... Up, 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 up here. Uh, so we are going to get our, our nice little secrets, our spoils, and look, there's more stuff up there. Oh, something was in there. Some balm grass for BD1. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I kind of... I kind of prefer the other one, if I'm to be honest, yeah. All right, so what have we got over here? I want to sense this echo. You got something for me? What have you got for me? It is going to be some beautiful... Get the sense it was part of some type of training ritual for Zepho Force users. Zepho Force unit. Training ritual relic used by Zepho Force users for generations in their pursuit of understanding. Wow, and that's the last one of the Sage L room. Oh, okay, beautiful. What do you reckon? Anywhere else we're supposed to be going? I don't know. Is there like a secret in a secret? I don't think so. I don't oh oh I don't I don't want to break too much. I don't want to break too much. Like what happens if I just Oh no, I broke it. Oh this one you can't. This one you literally cannot break. What happens? if I give it a little uh, no what about these ones they, they just explode okay fair enough well we saw this down from the main room here sorry I was kind of looking over the side as we were um, falling down there to see whether there was anything to jump onto all of those ropes look like they could be but I don't know. I don't know. So one thing I didn't appreciate so much on the way back last time is how much this has grown into a tree on the side of the lift here. Really didn't notice it, but look, there's this, there's this whole metal sheen to it, and it's gone up so far. That, that wasn't a thing when we started, just saying. And look at that, we are back where we started. The more I play this map, or yeah, in fact, the more I play this map, the more I realize how much of a finely crafted looping back. So I was talking to my girlfriend saying it's more of like a clover, sec uh, clover section. Uh, you kind of go around in a big loop to get back to where you started and then you do that again and again. But the loop, the bits that you started at don't quite match up. So you end up like spiraling your way further and further around and it all works out incredibly well. But I think with that, I have I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to make our way to T Kajik. Uh, today we went around and we made sure that we had uh, f finished up the entirety of this place, but of course it wasn't actually the entirety of this place. We've got places in the uh, Empire base that we can't get to, and the ones that have been annoying me really are these two ropes down here. You see them? You see them? You can't jump to them. I know that much, but I will see you guys when, when we're going to do that. 
Bye.